I was going to make a yummy bodybuilding high carb, high protein snack and today's the day. So today's fruit crumble recipe has got a few simple ingredients. Now you saw that we blended the barley and oats and we just bought that out of a pack. It's really fantastic. So we um, processed that and then we also threw in some pecans and processed that but we left the pecans a little bit chunkier. So all we need to do is pop that into your bowl, add the rice bran oil, about a quarter of a cup, Add your honey and then combine really, really well. All right, so if you're going to add some protein now to get your pro uh, high protein snack, what you want to do is add it into the crumble now. So in today's fruit crumble, you can see we've got mixed berries, we've got some nice ripe bananas and we've got some pears and we're just going to squeeze in a little bit of the orange juice. So you want to chop the pieces fairly small so they can fit into your ramekins. So I'm using some frozen berries today. You can use fresh, but frozen are very, very handy. So I've just added those to my banana and pear. And what I'm going to do is squeeze a bit of orange juice on there. Nice. And just gently massage that fruit together with your hands. So remember, it was just a little twitch of orange juice, okay? Just a smidgen, just squeeze a little bit in just to pull it through the fruit, okay? Now pop it into your ramekins, and as you can see, there's no oil or anything in the ramekins, just the fruit. So just now compress your fruit a little bit in your ramekin. Right, let's preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to get your fingers dirty a little bit and what you want to do is spread that crumble over the top of your fruit. Now that's what they should look like. <laughs> I tell you what, they look fantastic. They almost look good enough to eat like that now. But you want to pop them in the oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think hey, wait, for me. wait for me. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Lucky, just in time. Now these are nice, they're beautiful, remember our fruit crumble and they're still warm. So guess what, we're going to start eating them down. Now if you want a good suggestion, if you're going to be, <laughs> now we did Do four, that, eh? <laughs> we did four serves in the big ramekins, but you know what, you can do them in the little ramekins too, to make them last longer, but you'll probably eat more because there's <laughs> they're smaller. You can also add a little bit of custard, low-fat custard on top, or a bit of yogurt if you what want to What are you talking different. about? If you want to. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. But don't forget, if you want the extra protein, add it into the crumble. Now, all the details are going to be in the description, okay? And if you go to the website, you'll be able to print off the PDF as well that will give you the recipe, ingredients, instructions to follow. And you'll be ready to go and you'll be ready to eat. Yeah, there's always a link on our descriptions from now on, which will enable you to actually you know, click it and go there. Yeah. Now, um, with, with regards to the protein, now you can pick your own serving size as to how many grams of protein, you know, you have. But we've actually tried it and it sits really well with this, right? Yes. Heaps of fibre, heaps of carbs in terms of energy and it's fruit, something you absorb really easily, will not spike your blood sugar. And best thing is you get a, a nice heavy shot of protein. This is a great thing to have post-workout. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, our kids tend to eat it for breakfast, lunch, snack, <laughs> whenever yeah. they can get their hands I, I just on. love how it's so moist. Have a look oh. at this, guys. Look how moist mm. that is. <laughs> yeah, nice mm. and moist. Yeah, it tastes good, eh? Mm. Yeah. Remember, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Yeah, and share the video yeah. with everyone yeah. you know. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye now. Remember, like, subscribe.